absolutely gorgeous up here, man. What's going on, everyone? Out here in the White Mountains with my buddy Kevin. We're talking about doing a full traverse over the next two days. Uh, we'll see how our bodies hold up and what the weather's doing. Um, hard to say, the weather keeps changing, so we'll do what we can. But uh, we'll be able to bail out at the cog if need be or head back down Appalachia here. It's about 40 degrees right now. It's unseasonably warm. The snow is unseasonably low. But uh, it's still winter in the whites, so um, we're well prepared and we're going to hike to Valley Way tent site and set up there tonight, I think. So it's going to be getting dark here shortly, I'm trying to get a head start on this traverse. About a mile in, nice and sweaty. Slowing our pace a little. Only two miles to go. And these packs are heavy. They're not light. <laughs> Kevin's used to day hiking. He's not used to the 35 pound winter pack. <laughs> Strong hiker nonetheless. He's got a couple one day presidential traverses in the winter. So kudos to Kevin. It's awesome. Good hiking partner. Well, we brought them so we may as well use them certainly helps prevent post holing and better traction up in this mashed potato snow it's a long slog up valley way gaining about a thousand foot per mile so when we wake up we'll have about a thousand foot to climb to the first summit pretty sure we're hiking in the cloud now it's all misty. I almost didn't bring snowshoes, and I'm glad I did, if not for just this ascent, because they're helping out a lot in this mashed potatoes. We're getting pretty close. We're less than a half a mile from the tent site. I think we're looking pretty good, man. I feel good about it. All right, we got the pools. Stomping up the tent pad. Pretty excited about getting some dinner going, I know that. I sure hope the weather improves tomorrow. We get some sunlight. Originally, it was supposed to be really nice, like mid upper thirties and plentiful sunshine. And right before we headed up here, we checked the observatory weather for one last updated look. And it looked like a mix of sun and clouds, but the wind certainly increased. The cloud coverage certainly increased as it tends to do up here. Fingers crossed, hoping for the best. Da, 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 da. Pretty cozy in here. Tight, <laughs> a little bit of a tight squeeze. We'll make it work. We're gonna be good friends in the morning. Yeah. Full bellies, tired. Drove almost eight hours to get here. Hiked 3,000 foot up a mountain in the dark, in the damp, and uh, here we are. Day number two here in Valley Way tent site. Melting some snow here to get some fluids in me. Uh, I have service here, so I got an update from the uh, weather observatory on Mount Washington, and it sounds like we're gonna be mostly clear today with potential uh, undercast. So hopefully some cloud inversions for us. Um, we're staying up high today, so that's good news. Uh, winds 25 to 40 mile an hour, so it'll get gusty at times, but Welcome to the White Mountains. Get some fuel in us and get everything packed up and hopefully hiking up to Madison Hut um, by eight o'clock at the latest. Should be a good day. I'm pretty stoked.
Madison Hut. Oh, it's beautiful up here. Man, oh man. Excellent. All right. Drop packs heading up Madison. It's quarter after nine. I guess we're making good time. I don't know. <laughs> Everything takes longer in the winter. Right, summit of Madison, and go figure, we're all socked in. No view whatsoever. Uh, just as quick as it blows in, it can blow out. Hopefully it does. Things will probably be off and on all day, but damn, I was hoping for an inversion over that way. This came from this direction. So, oh well, one down. Trying to make it up over Washington down Lake of the Clouds Hut area today. Hopefully that's realistic. If we don't get that far, we'll probably end up bailing out tonight or this evening down the ammo trail or I don't know. We'll see what time it is when we get over there. If we get over there. <laughs> There's Kevin. Hey, imagine that, Kevin. We're on a summit and we're socked in. 939. I don't think we're going to be on Jefferson by 1230. That's funny. Three hours from now, it's not real. I don't think that's realistic. But yeah, there's Washington. And just like that, as quickly as it blows in, it can blow back out. It's going to be a beautiful, gnarly day up here, buddy. Alright, we're headed over to Star Lake. Let's see if we can't fill some water. We got socked in here. It's been socked in now for a good half hour. It's like a freezing fog. It kind of sucks, right Kevin? Yes, it kind of sucks. <laughs> it kind of sucks. It does suck. It does suck. So we're gonna uh we're gonna summit Adams regardless. And if it still sucks when we get up there. We're gonna bail. If somehow magically it looks like it clears out, we'll make a decision and maybe keep going. But for now, Star Lake and filter water. Well, I bought a brand new Platypus filter and it is Barely, barely pushing water. Not really able to filter here. That really sucks. Uh, I got my two shoulder straps worth of water left, and that is it, unless we melt more snow. But it's not windy, fortunately, but it's just not very fun. <laughs> so, all right, we're heading up Adams via Star Lake Trail and uh, make a final judgment call once we get up top of there but look at star lake look it's uh very yeah, definitely very, want to filter that water oh hell yeah <laughs> very apocalyptic up here
engine. I just wish it was a little lower so you weren't in it the whole time until you almost reached the summit. Oh, the snow's getting soft. Oh, man. Yep. Absolutely gorgeous up here, man. Just about here on the summit of Adams. Not was a tough climb. Oh man. So epic. What a day to be up here. Well, Washington and Jefferson has completely disappeared. Kevin and I have made the smart decision to just head back down to the car. We got a nice camping last night. We had a good time up here, didn't we, Kev? Yes, we did. We got to hang out on Adams for a while, get some cool time lapses, and not completely you know, freeze to death. Yeah, I can't today. see hiking in a cloud all day. It no, I agree. Seem beneficial. Yeah. And then we're a lot more committed and I don't know. Burger and a beer sound pretty damn good for this evening. <laughs> I'm thinking a nice filet mignon. Nice filet mignon, even better. Now we're talking. What are we heading down here? Airline trail? Yeah, so I believe this is airline. Airline to to uh, Valley Way, down back to the truck. So, we wanted to get two nights in, but can't cheat the mountains. We pushed hard enough, I'm sure we could do it tonight, but I, I want to have fun, not have a whole supper fest and, you know, be miserable. We're having a really good time, so we're going to keep the stoke high. Not much worth filming. Don't have any good views. But it's been pretty killer. It turned out to be all right. Found it, buddy. Good hike. Oh, I'm beat. Yeah, me that too. Was enough.